Hi, brothers and sisters. I'm back. <clears throat> I got cut off again, but we're going to keep on rolling. So where I left off at is that um, it's, it's not always an easy thing to do, um, especially when it comes to family or your best friend, because that's your family. You know, that's your best friend. You know, um, they've been in your life all your life. You know what I mean? Um, your family's been there all your life. And then your best friend, y'all could have been best friends since the fifth grade. You know what I mean? And now you're an adult. But Jesus tells us that if a person in our life is not on the same walk as we are, then we need to cut them off. Okay? We need to cut them off. Okay? Because what does a believer, what relationship does a believer have with a sinner? Unless it's to help that sinner, to reprove that sinner, to tell that sinner about Jesus. And that's a scripture as well. Okay? And what else tends to happen, my brother, or happen, my brothers and sisters, is see, for one, let's say your best friend or your cousin. Y'all used to go to the club, clubbing and partying together and drinking and smoking. And what tends to happen is now you're trying to change and walk with Jesus and you're not doing that anymore. And so they get upset. Okay. I'm not saying all of them or everyone, but a lot of people do. They get upset because now they're losing their drinking buddy. They, they, they losing their smoking buddy. They losing their partying buddy. You understand? And so then that causes some type of tension. Um, it, it causes some type of, um, like I said, it's all a misunderstanding. But it, 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 what that is, is a selfishness that that person has within themselves. Because if they really love you, then they will be happy for you. They will be happy that you are now giving your life to Christ and, and that you want to change for the better. But because they're they're afraid of losing their drinking buddy or their smoking buddy or their partying buddy or all of the above, now they're getting upset about that. And then that tends to cause them to talk about you to other people, um, to act funny towards you when you come around. And guess what? That is okay, my brothers and my sisters, because you don't need a person like that around you anyway, okay? Honestly and truly, if they are not on the same walk as you trying to get deeper with the Lord, then you need to cut them off, okay? Because remember, spirits transfer, okay? What do they say? Birds of a feather flock together? Hmm. If you hang around with dogs enough, you'll get fleas. And I'm not calling anyone a dog. I'm just, you know, I'm just giving a, an analogy of, 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 so you can get a picture in your head of what happens. Okay. Spirits will transfer. And if you continue to keep putting yourself in that situation because you want to be around somebody and you don't want to be alone, um, what will happen is you may have stopped drinking, but because you keep going around this individual um, because you don't want to be alone, now you see yourself picking back up the drink, picking back up the blunt, going back out to clubs, partying. Okay, so that's what I mean when I say um, you lay down with dogs enough, um, you'll get fleas. And see, and that's why Jesus tells us not to um, be around sinners unless we are to reprove them. Okay, so like I said, I know this message is for someone. Um, it is a confirmation to you and it is going to bless you. But. When you are trying to elevate, my brothers and my sisters, you must cut some people off. It's not going to be a good feeling when it's your family and your friends. No, it's not. But it is essential to your spiritual growth. I did a video. As a matter of fact, it was my previous video 